All right, welcome to Guild Chat, you guys. I'm your host, Ruby, and today we are going to be talking about pro leagues and PvP leagues in Guild Wars 2. Um, with me today are two of my favorite people, Hugh Aww. and Jessica, came to walk us through it. I'll make sure I give you that money afterwards. For thank you, thank you, I Thanks. appreciate that. Um, <coughs> you said that Jessica pitched in on that, too. Yeah, definitely, so. definitely. All right. she will, she will. Yeah, it's a <laughs> nice, nice thing said we'll about you for you. Yeah, we'll talk after this. Yeah, we'll talk after. All right, so why don't we start with Pro Leagues, and you guys can kind of walk us through that. What is Pro Leagues first? So Pro Leagues is a league that we've created external to the game through mm -hmm. ESL. Uh, mm -hmm. It's where the top teams of both North America and Europe can participate in a big, essentially, round-robin tournament where they're going to play mm -hmm. every single person every week. They're going to have one matchup, and they're playing for a lump sum of money. The more wins they get, the more money they get. And we had teams come in that were based off of our Go4 Cup. So some teams solidified their, their spots in there mm -hmm. through WTS, through Go4 Points and stuff like that. So like Abjurd got in, obviously, from North America. Nice. Orange Logo, TCG from, from Europe. So a lot of big-name teams got in. And then we had kind of these qualifying tournaments for these teams to go ahead and participate to get those last few spots. Mm -hmm. So we got a lot of awesome teams from, you know, teams that we had, some teams we never really heard of. So there were some upsets. There were some upsets of yeah, teams. Yeah, some of these guys are making their mark. Yeah, some of these teams, like, we had never really heard of or seen before, but they did really well in the tournaments and they got into pro leagues. Yeah. So it's, it's pretty exciting to watch because there's a couple – teams that we just never heard of it's yeah awesome. and they came flying out of nowhere there yep. has been some there have been some pretty cool matches oh yeah um how long is this going on for and when can we watch this so every monday i think mm -hmm. we have a slide kind of going over this but yeah we've got a schedule that we can take a peek at real quick yeah so every monday so you see we had the qualifier the deciding matches and then we've already gone through two days of this mm -hmm. uh so we've already had uh the first match and the second match there but december 7th you can go ahead and catch that on Mondays. There's a North American one and a European one, so they're different times. One's mm -hmm. in the morning for uh, European, and, and North American is at 5. Right. Uh, but, yeah, take a look. Catch them, guys. It's super exciting because these guys are playing not only for, you know, some money, but also for their lives because the bottom <laughs> the bottom of their <laughs> lives, literally, <laughs> we're going to be killing okay. them off. The bottom. No. Oh, my no. gosh. What I meant I'm by gonna that. I'm going to need more money. <laughs> what I meant by that is the bottom teens are actually going to be put into – a, a different <laughs> tournament to see if they get to stay in pro leagues or actually get kicked out. So it's <laughs> and their lives and their lives. I'm sorry. Take that into account, bottom teams. Look, you guys, <laughs> we will not kill you. We and we will stop you from killing you. Oh my gosh. Hey, Jessica, please talk. Make him <laughs> stop. <laughs> um, that was amazing. All right, so <laughs> just always got my playing eyes on for you. money. Not your lives. Not the lives. And you mentioned some upsets. I mean, how's it going? <sighs> Tell me about the good matches. Uh, I mean, I mean, there's 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 been some good matches and there's been some expected matches. Uh, you know, obviously the Abjured and Orange Logo and uh, Civilized Gentlemen have been around and playing together for a very long time. So, it's it's not easy to step in and try to go toe to toe with them. But mm -hmm. we've seen people do really well. I think my favorite match was between uh, the Abjured and PZ and uh, Team PZ. Yep. Yes. So the we know that the Titan can bleed now because yeah. they lost <laughs> they, a game. They did lose one game. They lost a game to PZ. But unfortunately, this is one of the things PZ, who actually took a game off Abjured, which is pretty much uncalled for, like just unheard of. Yeah. Unheard <laughs> uncalled of. For. Uncalled for. How dare you? Yeah. I can't help but notice you're very bloodthirsty today. I am. I'm <laughs> This is what the, the leagues do to the, me, man. It's what the leagues do to me. It was the Christmas music. It was the it Christmas music. Aggro. really hyped me up. Yeah. It got me going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they actually took a game off them, but they lost, and they lost their first match to Apex Prime. Mm -hmm. So actually, they're 2-0, and oh, but they've had some of the two hardest matchups mm -hmm. in the league so far, and they took a game off of Jur, which again... Uncalled for, PZ. Uncalled for. I no. liked it. Good work, PZ. Yeah, it was it was amazing. It was amazing, amazing games, and that's what yeah. we're seeing. The good thing is, is that it's only one matchup, and they get to play everybody. It's a round robin, so Abdur gets to play everybody, PZ gets to play everybody, Orange Logo gets to play everybody, and we all get to see who the best team is mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the in the entire uh, you know the region or whatever, and that's that's huge. 
Yeah, so if you're, I mean, if you're into this and there's a matchup that we haven't done, it's because we haven't done it yet. Yes. So that's the cool thing to me. Everybody's going to get matched up with everybody. Yes. At some point. Yeah, that, that's like the thing that makes it really exciting. It's like usually in a tournament environment, some of the some of the teams may get wind up winning or losing mm -hmm. out, and they don't actually get to play each other. So you don't get those hype moments, those hype matches that you've always wanted to see. Mm -hmm. But in this system in pro leagues, everybody plays everybody. Love it. So it's super cool. Yeah. All right, so even if I mean even if you're not a PvP player and you know I'm super super casual, yeah. I've had a lot of fun watching these because even if it's not even if you're not to the point in PvP where you're looking and you're analyzing every build and every tiny match and every tiny movement that they use, it's still really a lot of fun to watch. Yeah. Just to see who comes and some of the players are such great personalities oh, too. Oh yeah, the interviews they afterwards are fascinating. They're so much legendary. Fun. Legendary. Yeah. I love the interviews afterwards. And it's great, though, because they usually pull off the team that either usually won, and you can listen to them. They're excited. Mm -hmm. You can see them like talk about like their, their, their comms and what they were saying and like mm -hmm. some of the things. And that's actually a really huge insight. You usually don't get to see in a tournament environment, but in pro leagues, we're able to do that kind of stuff. And I think that's really cool, too. Yeah. But it also puts those faces to teams that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's again. I I think everything about it. Even if you're a super casual guy, watching there, the commentators are really good, breaking mm -hmm. down a lot of the things in layman's terms for a lot of people, as well as being able to see that, getting the interviews, and just meeting the teams. Yeah. You can become invested really quickly just by watching these things. Yeah, and please note that when I say they're such great personalities, I don't mean they're such quiet and polite boys and girls. <laughs> they are. Yes, again, they're so much fun. They're special. They're very, so much very fun. special. And you Rob's guys, the best. you guys Rob's know, I, Rob is the best. You guys know, I mean that in the nicest of way. I enjoy I this it. so much. I love it. I love yeah. It. All right, so that's kind of how pro leagues work. The teams are set for this particular season. Yes. Next season, what if somebody's watching and is like, hey, this is pretty cool. I went in on this. So we'll, we'll kind of go over to a little bit when we got actually broke, bring up to the, the Guild Challenger League. But yes, mm -hmm. a guild teams that participate in the ranked arena during post, a season. During a season, post on the Guild Challenger League leaderboard. We're going to use that to find teams to go mm -hmm. into the tournament, the Challenger Cup, to have their shot to go into pro leagues. Bottom pro league teams come down to this tournament. Guild Challenger League teams go up to this tournament. Yeah. Whoever wins, you go into pro leagues. Yeah. So, so next season, you could be you. Yeah. yeah. This season is pretty set, but it's not over for all time. Enjoy this one. Watch it and see what you can do next season. That's right. All right, so that's pro leagues. That's how pro leagues work. Yeah. I want to talk about PvP leagues next because oh, this man. is a thing we just kicked off this week. Um, if you're already participating, I know there are things that you guys have questions about, things that you're wondering about, things you want us to talk about, and we're going to do that. So we're going to, those of you who aren't already participating, who aren't sure what it's all about, we're going to get you caught up. If you're already right participating, now. we're going to talk about things that you want to talk about. So, you guys ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right. I'm excited Go. about this. Go. We have until the toast pop. No, wait. Yeah. That's oh, not no, right. no. <laughs> uh, all right. So, let's... <laughs> okay. I think one of the big things we should do is probably just... What are PvP leagues? How does this differ from pro leagues? Yes. So, PvP leagues are <laughs> something that anyone can participate in. All you have to do is be ranked 20, uh, ranked 20 in PvP, go in and get in, go to ranked arena. Uh, once we go in game, I'll kind of show off some of these things as well. But the big thing is, is that you, anyone can participate, and it has divisions that you want to go up tiers in the divisions and then obviously we have points people are calling them pips because that's what we always called them but then we call them points so we're going to either way you want to call them points or pips and you get those for winning in matches um and you just kind of go up and you play and it's there's rewards tied to it there's a legendary journey we're kind of getting to that as well but i think the best way to describe this let's go in game all right yeah let's take a look um while we are getting Hugh into game and getting him set up, one of the things that we've noticed is that some people are finding it kind of hard to understand, so yes. we're going to run through the system and make sure it's exactly. clear for you guys. Hugh, right. ready, go. I'm ready. All right, so one thing I said is you're going to go ahead and go to the cross swords up here, guys, and then you just go up to compete. <laughs> it's it says, so orange. It's, it's red. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I may have played a lot of Warrior on my dev account or maybe on only online. Also, I don't know what you're talking about. We won't condemn uh, him for live uh, right now because he's on dev. I mean, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, on, on all the other clients, I play all the others. But stuff, seriously, but it's super orange. It's pretty orange. Carry on. Um, but you can see here, like, this This tells you when the season ends, so it lets you know, like, how much time you have. It's an eight-week season. It started on Tuesday and on January 26th. <coughs> oh, you just click the button. That's it. You click the button. And what does this participate, or what do you actually get from this? That sounds it's, hard. I know. It's pre <laughs> pretty difficult. Pretty difficult. But it opens up this guy right here, and it actually starts, this UI explains to you what the PvP leagues are. So I'll kind of go over this page for you and kind of explain this. Um, so let me move it out of the way so my 
my beautiful head isn't blocking this. So you can see here, there are six divisions here at the bottom. We'll kind of go over each division. D okay. Division? 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 I, I can't division. speak. Words, words are um, So the division is this right here. So this is the amber division. There's three tiers. So you can see the numbers here. Those equal the tiers. There's rewards at each tier. And then there's a division reward for crossing over. Each one of these little notches is either, we call them points or pips. You get those from winning matches. And All we'll right. kind of explain how sometimes you can get a little more, sometimes you can get a little mm -hmm. less, sometimes you can get some for winning or losing. Right. Yeah, I think it's important to note that um, there's a lot of partial progress built into the system. So if you are in a match um, and you are heav heavily favored to win uh, or heavily favored to lose, yep. um, if you do well in the match, depending on score thresholds, mm -hmm. you are still potentially going to uh, climb the ladder. So nice. I think that's... Uh, it's important to know. Yeah, definitely, because uh, it's, it's not entirely clear like how you would be earning these yeah um, so but it is based off of score th score thresholds and yeah the, uh, team score ops. specifically yes team yep. score um so the one thing like i'll just going off what jessica said is that we were going to put that stuff in the beginning of the matchup so you can mm -hmm. see like hey if i get this score threshold or if i get this i'll be able to get some points or stay equal but what happened was we thought was you didn't want people to be like Oh, I'm I I'm supposed to, to lose yeah. this match because it says that I need to only get this many points to get something. Mm -hmm. So we decided, you know what? Let's put it at the back. Let's show it. We show it at the end and just play your heart out. Every single game, play your heart out, mm -hmm. and you never know. But one thing, it's not super. It's not super clear. Yeah. Right? So that's why we want to show if you're heavily favored to win. If you win, you get one. But if you get specific thresholds lower, you'll lose additional pips or what that we haven't yep. really seen a lot of these like huge swings right but we have seen a couple where it's like you know you're slightly favored to win or slightly favored to lose so if you maybe get a certain number of points you actually get you won't even if you lose you won't lose yep. any pips yep so and that's kind of the way the system works it depends on the match it, it looks the match and then says okay mm -hmm. I think you're going to win this one. You got to win this one because if not, I'm going to have to, we're going to take a little extra couple pips off you. Or if you're you're supposed to lose this match, hey, if you can get pretty close to a win, we'll go ahead and take a pip, either give you a pip, or not even remove one from you. So, always, 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 guys, play your heart out because you never know. You may actually get two pips. You may get one pip. You may not lose a pip. That's the biggest thing. But let's explain how the divisions work. So the divisions have rules. So we have the sweet little divisions rules here to let you know. So you can't lose points in the, fir uh, in the first one and you cannot lose tiers. So here are the tiers, here are the points. So every time you win here, mm -hmm. you go up. If you lose, you actually don't lose anything. You stay the same. Okay. And once you cross over a tier, you don't go back a tier. Both of these just letting you know. And when okay. you cross a tier, you get sweet, yeah. sweet you rewards. you get these sweet rewards. You get some shards <laughs> of glory, you get an unidentified die, 30 some silver, coin. and some transmutation charge so you can get essentially two of those guys and then when you cross over the division you get some more shards uh you get 15 pvp lead tickets what we'll talk about when we go about the journey mm -hmm. uh the ascension journey and then five gold five gold man i'm a boss uh transmutation <laughs> charge and you get the sweet little badge by your name so what here if you actually what i'll show you see this little number there it's like two with green so right now i'm in the amber division so if i hit this button right here you can see i have this this nice little badge it's it's the same color, it has a little one on it telling me that I'm in the amber bad, nice. the amber division. That's also important uh, if you're looking to party up with people and you want to group with someone like that's in your, in like your division. division. Yeah, right. so it's easy to identify um, who you should be inviting. So let's go ahead and just quickly, I'll go over just the other divisions now that we kind of understand how it all works. Okay. So if I go over to the emerald division, it says I can lose points, but I can't lose tiers. So every time you cross a tier, you're safe. You can lose a couple games and not worry about it. But okay. as you go up the t up the tier, if you do lose games, you will lose a couple points along the way. But every time you hit a tier, you'll go up and you'll be safe. And then it kind of goes like that in the same division for Sapphire. And then as you go over to Ruby, uh, you can it lose. Real. It starts getting a little little real. Uh, yeah, once you get into Ruby. Because <laughs> that's the best one. That's right. I bet it's spelled wrong. What? Or it's spelled right. 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 Um, you can lose points and tears in this one, so you're never safe anywhere on this guy. Yep. It's all about <laughs> it's. You gotta be the you, treacherous. This is the treacherous one. This is the one where you know skills really gonna take into account here. You gotta get a good win streaks and whatnot. You have to have more wins than losses. Um, and then we have diamond, which is the same thing, just a little bit bigger. And wow. then if you ever get into legendary, our super super awesome guys, you can lose pips, you can lose tears, but we reduce the number here, and you can actually repeat this guy. So you see oh, there's wow. a times one here. Mm -hmm. You can make this times two, times three, times four, times five. And this is the only place that you can actually lose divisions. 
So you can't lose divisions at all anywhere. Once you go into wow. one of these guys, you're safe. But you can never go from Legendary back to Diamond, but if you're Legendary, say, Repeat 2 or Prestige 2 or Prestige 3, you can go back to Prestige 2 and Prestige 1. Ooh. So okay. there's a nice little leaderboard here, which we see. Look at this boss right here. 1,700,000. Wow, this guy plays a lot. He has been just mashing on that league during I'm pretty dev. pretty sure that dude is a big cheater pants. Wow. You, this guy's a god. He's a god. He's on, he didn't want to tell you this. This is actually somebody that can't participate in tournaments because he's too good. He's too good. <laughs> it's not me. I wish. Uh, but yeah, so then totally there's that. The so there's, a there's a leaderboard here to let you know, and you can actually track those things to see how many times people have repeated there. So you can see there's a prestige leaderboard there for those guys. Nice. Um, but yeah. Um, well, as you, as you mentioned, um, not being able to lose divisions and, and the different rules. Uh, I think it's important to note something we've been kind of observing uh, as we've kicked off mm -hmm. uh, leagues a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, players might find that it uh, it is in their best you interest can say it. to, it's okay. Go ahead. to uh, tank, tank their MMR so that they mm -hmm. can um, <coughs> get some easy matches and, and progress through the, uh, the divisions more quickly. But as Hugh mentioned, um, once you start actually climbing um, and you get into some of those uh, harder, harder divisions like um, Ruby. Yep. It's it's definitely not going to behoove you to uh, purposefully lose. Um. It sounds like it's seriously not worth your time. No, I mean it's a huge time investment. The biggest thing is you're not really even guaranteed wins. Like yeah. like if you lower your MMR, we're, you're mm -hmm. going to be match made with people of that same MMR. So you have to be good enough. That you can guarantee a win where you carry four other teammates against another team, yeah. right? And that's that's why like you spend a bunch of time, you do these things, and it doesn't really guarantee you win. It's not really, I, I don't know, it doesn't seem worth your time. We've seen, we've looked at some of these things, and it just never seemed to be worthwhile. So, also, it's against the terms Code of, of yes. service. Yes, terms of service. Code. Do you really want to draw the attention of yes. customer support for that yes, reason? Yes, yes. Is yeah. it is it worth it? It yeah. sounds like it's super not worth it. It's it's really not. And like like Jessica's saying, it, I mean, once you get to higher divisions, it makes yeah, matters it even less. Yeah, it's so it's just going to be wasting your time. So. It's, it seems yeah. like a big waste of time. But yeah, you know, keep keep that in mind. It is against the terms of service. So if you are doing that, think about that. You are well, putting your, nobody your counter nobody risk. wants to spend time playing a shitty match, right? Yeah. Like it's true. if I'm gonna invest my time, I want it to be a challenge. I yeah. want everyone to be yep. mm -hmm. trying and um yeah. Yep. So and if if none of that matters, again, waste of your time. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. So this is I mean this is coming from you guys. I clearly do not know as well as you do what I'm talking about. <laughs> but having talked to you guys and some other members of the teams the past couple of days, it sounds like it's you're not gaining enough from it to make it worth it. And we're really watching a lot of that stuff. Like, we're constantly listening to the community. We are always watching yeah. metrics and getting data and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it, from what we've seen, it doesn't seem worth it. Yeah. And it's not just watching. It's not like, hey, we're watching you to bring down the ban hammer. Or so yeah. you can come yeah. kill you, evidently. <laughs> but <laughs> we're watching, too, to see what the case is. is yes. To find out, okay, what's the reality of the situation here? Uh, we've, it's only been out three days, and we've been constantly pulling metrics every day, yeah. constantly looking at all the data, having meetings on the data, going mm -hmm. through all that stuff, because we want to make sure the system's right. Yeah. So Speaking of that... Yes, I think you're going to say the same <laughs> thing about MMR but, factoring in. Oh, right. Well, yes. Well, we're, we're going to talk we're, about that now. Surprise! Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are, we are definitely looking at um, how MMR is factoring into matchmaking. Um, I think with the current league system, there are some adjustments that we would like to make, so... It's only been out for three days, uh, and we're actively watching, listening, mm -hmm. and um, brainstorming on on how we can make it better. Make it, make it, make it better. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, what and were then you gonna say? <laughs> 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 yes, make it make it the best possible system because mm -hmm. um, that's that's what it should be. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're we're constantly monitoring it, and we're gonna make adjustments. Yep. And uh, I I think we should note there were a few bugs um, that I think we yeah. fixed today. We fixed we fixed oh, specifically. Yeah. There was specifically um, a bug with the with guild teams. Yeah. Teams, people were making uh, multiple guild teams because the way guild teams were, you, they were making it so you could actually get some easier matchups. That's not the case anymore. That was fixed today. So if you make, you, you, like, obviously if you're on your your guild team, play, have fun. And you can be on multiple guild teams and this won't ever affect you. Mm -hmm. yep. It was when you made a guild team to play 
specifically to get easier matchups and then mm -hmm. created another one and then played it and then created another one and played it. That doesn't work anymore. That was fixed today, so we don't need to worry about that. Awesome. Play on your guild team. You could be, like I said, be multiple guild teams. That's totally fine, but the constant making of new ones, just it doesn't work. It doesn't do what they yeah, what it was doing not, before. Yep. All right, so stop that because it doesn't work. Yep. Um, what about winning a match when your party member disconnects? Yeah, that's another bug we found out was Right before, if you won a match with a group and one of your players dropped from them, you know their power went out or some their cat ate their cord or I don't know what happened. It okay, would look, it would. I said she did it on accident. <laughs> <laughs> um, it would it would count the entire group as a loss. If, yeah, if you were and that's a, a bug. If, if you were in a party. Yeah, and that's that's just a bug. It's going to yeah. be fixed December uh, early mid December. We're going to fix that right away because that's okay. just a bug that shouldn't happen. Yeah. If you win, if, if you ever win a match, win. even if you're in a party, you won. Yep. The person who DC'd will probably get the loss depending yeah. on how long they're out. Um, if you lose, when someone loses, when you leave, eh, you lost. But yeah. But if you ever win, you win. That's, you get your win. You get your win. You get what you earned. Yep, yep. exactly. So, That's sort of important. Yeah, and again, yeah, that was a, a bug, bit. and we're going to fix that as soon as possible. Okay, awesome. Yeah, some of this stuff is a tiny bit more complicated. Yeah. It's never just a few lines of code. Yeah. I cannot say that enough. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean... Like I said, like the team Evan, all of us have been looking at this stuff, mm -hmm. and we're like, man, okay, we got, we can fix that. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Make sure we test it. Make sure it's right before we get it out as well. We don't want to just throw something out there. Yeah, it turns out we we would like to put that out. And yeah, definitely fix it properly. Yes. All right. 100%. So that's how the that's how the leagues work. We also want to talk about the Guild Challenger League that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's jump back in, in there real quick, and I'll kind of explain Shall like some of the stuff about it and where you can look for it in in. Uh, in the lobby and where like the leaderboard is and even that you can actually look for it um, in your guild team as well. So I'm going to run over here so you can see it's so bright because I have the settings all high but you actually come over Beautiful. here and look to see which of the first, second, and third place guild team and we put their banners up here and you can see their emblems. Obviously like I said I have post processing so it's super bright. Uh, but you can go over to the actual league and look to see who's on the top of the leaderboard, what their team rating is, what their win-loss ratio is as well as the rewards on here as well. And so the first place team will get this guy. Second place through 25th <laughs> place gets this guy. 26th through 100th place gets this guy. And we kind of go all the way 101 to 250 and 251 to 1000. So it's 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 good to make a guild team because even if you're not the best of the best, you'll still get some personal you'll still rewards. Get, you'll still get some, <laughs> some guild team rewards. Yeah. Uh, and this is for every single member of that guild team gets this reward. Yeah, nice. So yeah, it's really, it's really good. No! Don't you dare do this to me! Oh no! Um, but, but yeah, that's that's it, guys. Again, you need a queue with three members. Uh, I'll kind of go over this, see if I have. Yeah, you have? should show the guild team. Yeah, so we go over to wait. Where am I? Oh, that was right. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We have we have oh, so yes. many Evans that this like doesn't yeah. even. You know, it, it is right. our it is our Evan. Though. It's totally Evan Zinda, right? No. no, this is our Evan. <laughs> the Lesh Prince. Lesh Prince himself. But you can actually look at the Guild Team, uh, the Guild Challenger League here as well uh, mm -hmm. when you're looking at your Guild Team. You need to at least queue in Ranked Arena with three members. And then when you queue, it'll ask you if you want to represent your Guild Team. Mm -hmm. You say yes, and then you will post immediately to the leaderboard as soon as the game is done. So if you win, boom, immediately post, and you may start taking overtaking teams like that. Uh, but yeah, this is where you get it up. You create the team. You can set who you want the captain to be so they can invite people. Jessica, Beast Mode. Good job, did. Jessica. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so we put ourselves uh, here. You can invite people. You can immediately click the button just to invite them to party. You can see we are 4 and mm -hmm. O. Oh. What up? Best team in the world. Best team on death. On death. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, it even gives you like your match history and when you played and whatnot. So it's, it's got all that nice stuff. But yeah, that's the way it is. Pretty simple. You just queue so as a guild team and... Get on there. Why do I want to? Why do I care? Well, so that you may ask the hard question. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> and that's good. I actually have some of the rewards here, but um, one of the big things is obviously you get the reward, uh, which gives you a unique trophy every for season your, for, for your, your guild. guild hall. You only like get one of it. You only get one, obviously, because your one team got it. Mm -hmm. But you get this trophy that you can display for every season. So every time you get on there, if you can get within the first. You know, the twenty, the all the way to twenty-five. All the way, I think it's all the way up to two fifty. If you can get in the top two fifty, uh, let me make sure just to make sure I'm not lying to you guys. Yeah, if you can get the top two fifty teams, you'll get a unique trophy from the Guild Challenger Leader uh, Guild Challenger League that you can display forever, right? Mm -hmm. And it's for every season. Uh, nice. And then you, obviously you get some potions, uh, potions of PvP, which are the reward track potions, which are used in upgrading your guild arena, mm -hmm. uh, as well as. Uh, the Guild Challenger Decoration Token, which is where you'll be able to get this as a unique 
uh, token that can be spent at the guild halls to make a to get a decoration only can be got from PvP uh, guild teams. Nice. So it's like every season we're just going to keep adding these these decorations so you'll be able to buy the decorations and again they're unique mm -hmm. to PvP so you Yeah, so you've got this stuff in your guild hall and the rest of your guildies can see, hey, we yep. you know, we did this, we are making the guild hall better. It's yep. a little bit of a side effect, but this is a cool thing that we accomplished as a guild. Yep. And you get that all the way up to 1000. So that even all you have to do is get top 1,000, you can get that guaranteed decoration. If you get to 250, you get that guaranteed decoration plus a trophy. Plus the trophy. Yep. And so then also you get a little bit of money. You mm -hmm. get some items uh, that help restore your guild arena. So everything about this is essentially for the guild. Mm -hmm. You get the guild trophy. You get the guild decoration. You get some potions of PvP that you can consume for yourself to progress your war tracks or to progress your guild arena. And then we also give you some items specifically cater to progressing your guild arena. Nice. So all those things are just from that. And again, each member gets that mm -hmm. as well. It, the only thing that's not per member is the actual trophy. The trophy is per team, so you get one per team. Okay. So one question that I was going to ask, and you've kind of, you've mostly answered it, uh -huh. but I mean, I think we all know I am a casual pl PvP <laughs> player at best. Should I even bother? I 100% I mean, think so. It, Seems totally worth it. So I know we have a lot of players who are like, well, I'm not good at PvP, or I flat don't like PvP. I don't know if you're a player who doesn't like PvP, you don't like the idea of it, because you haven't tried it. You and I have been saying this for so long. I played Guild Wars 1 for years. I played Guild Wars 2 for several years before even starting PvP. Mm -hmm. I just, I wanted nothing to do with it. And I will just keep saying this, just take your guildies and give it a try. Because really, I ended up having so much fun, didn't I? I enjoyed yeah. it a yeah. lot. Yeah, no, and I, and I, I think it's, that's the big thing. Yeah, well, now that there's actual structure to it, and you can mm -hmm. queue with the guild, like you can create your own little guild, you know, with a little a little group within your guild yeah. to go play some PvP. Have some fun, right? The big thing is, is because, you know, the way it is, you're not only just getting the guild stuff mm -hmm. and you have to get only to top the thousand to get rewards based on that right which is top thousand teams teams not right? top thousand people yeah so. it's i mean it's a lot of teams mm -hmm. and then you're also getting reward track progress you're also getting if you're progressing on because it's also when you participate on this i should make sure i mention this it also progresses the league so you are getting pips for wins because you're playing mm -hmm. in ranked arena so you're also okay. progressing that right so it's like all these things are happening all at the same time as long as you're playing with the team you know you can play you can progress in stronghold you can progress in Conquest. Conquest proposes the board specifically, so you need to play uh, Conquest to, part to participate on the board. Okay. But if you want to just warm up and play some stuff and just progress to the ladder specifically with mm -hmm. your guild team, you can play uh, Stronghold. Yeah, so if I only like Stronghold. You can play then... that. You won't progress the guild challenger league, but you at least get more comfortable mm -hmm. until you're ready to go to Conquest. Yeah. And I think that's one big thing to, th to, to note as well. I, I think it's also uh, worth mentioning that uh, well, reminding people that being in the uh, Guild Challenger League is an opportunity to move on to the Pro League. The pro so leagues. if you're not mm -hmm. currently playing PvP or you're not sure you're interested in it, um, I think it's a very compelling that you could be a part of a bigger picture. Um, yeah. Knowing yeah. that you might someday get to compete for... If you fall in love with it and find out this is something... Okay, I really like this. I didn't think I was going to. I'm absolutely crazy about this game mode and I want to do more, then you are now in the running. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of like the progression, right? You start mm -hmm. unranked, you level up, you get to rank 20, you go in there, you play not in a guild team, maybe if you want, progress the leagues, get up to Diamond or Sapphire or Ruby, mm -hmm. right? Then you're like, oh, I want to take it to the next level. I want to make a guild team so I can participate in the Guild Challenger League. And then from there, I want to become the best Guild Challenger League team so I can get a chance to get into pro leagues. You go to pro leagues and go all the way up to a world championship, right? right. The progression's there for you. You can go as far as you want, as fast as you want, whenever you want, right? Mm -hmm. and that's the best part about it, right? If you want to just play solo, hey, enjoy yourself. You want to go to that next level, go to teams. Even if you're super casual, play in a teams. Worst comes to worst, you progress your, your league, Right, you may not get yeah. top thousand, but you'll progress to leagues. You'll get a couple tiers. You'll at least get out of Amber Division. You'll get some reward track progress. You know, it's that's no the thing. Not. The absolute worst case scenario is that you get some rewards. Yeah, yeah. that's yep. the absolute worst thing is gonna ha that happens is that you're gonna get some cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. Which it's, I absolutely love. Yeah, and and that's why like I always just say, give it a try. Get your guild together. Have some fun. Make it a night. Make it a mm -hmm. night where you guys all get together and play. And you might wind up saying, hey, that was really fun, guys. We should do it again tonight. Mm -hmm. You won't even know until you try. 
Yeah. All right. So we're getting kind of late here. Yep. And there's one more thing that I really want you to show off. Yep. Show us the backpack. Yep. All right. So. In all of its glory. So let's start this out. I kind of left some things uh, not finished because I wanted to show you guys. So uh, I'll kind of go over this really quick. So the way you get your backpack, uh, there's a little journey you have to go on it. But you need to progress over divisions to get these PvP League tickets. So you see crossing this division gives you 15. So 15 League tickets. So this guy actually has the backpack on already. Show off. So he look at this guy looking like a beast. So he's got the, these are the legendary wings that you're you're working towards. Nice. But you know you don't get to quite start out quite Never so legendary at first. So you start evil. off with these beautiful little chibi wings. wings. I love look at these little guys. <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. They're so cute. Let me let me take off my let me take off my uh, okay my outfit. So you I had wing. them on like my adorable little Asura. That's where I've seen them. So you see, like, I'm this huge <laughs> death machine ready to destroy the world. And I got these cute little wings. Look at how cute they are. They're just beautiful. I'm working towards a legendary. I'm going to be a legend one day is what this man is saying. <laughs> but, you know, he's going to look menacing until he gets there. In the meantime, um, I'm Cupid. Yeah. And so so then after you do this, you buy this. So after just completing the oh first division, gosh. you'll be able to buy these. You buy I'm these sorry. straight up. I love it. <laughs> So then after that, you get to the next set of wings. So the wings get a little bigger. They get out a little bit more. You get a little bit more flair on that bad boy. Okay, you're going to have to take off your sword, okay? Yeah, it's, it's a wonderful sword. What, I'm he's blinking at me. He's so excited. Well, that's my problem with it. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's upsetting. Right, I'll take, I'll take the, it's also distracting from I'll the wings. The beautiful. Get rid right. of the hammer. Just stop All right, it. So, so there's that. <clears throat> Let's go back. Oh, they're so beautiful. They're so cute. <laughs> All right. So then, <laughs> so then we go to the third set of wings. You get this guy right oh here. Gosh. And again, get, starting to get starting to look really nice, starting to look like some some beautiful wings there. And then you go ahead and go to the last set. You get a little bit of fire, a little effect on those bad boys, and you can see they they start really showing off from behind you. Okay, see that looks kind of cool. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Like these ones, you can kind of see as they come up, and you can see these guys not super much. You can see it a little <laughs> on the <laughs> side. Like and then these right guys there. are like, "What? What are you wearing? You wearing a backpack?" You're like, "Yeah, I am. <laughs> flying around, baby." Um, but yeah, so what I did here is I gave myself enough league tickets here by crossing over all the divisions, getting into legendary. You'll have enough to purchase all of the back back items, but because there's multiple seasons and this these span the ascension journey spans over the entire year. Okay. If you're got if you're a more competitive casual player, you only need to cross over a few divisions every season to have enough Yay. league tickets to buy it. So you won't be able to do it in a single season to get this this <clears throat> part of it, but over multiple seasons you'll have enough to get there. All right. So So when the seasons when the season's going on, I can earn more. Yep. Let them build up. Yep. And, and I'm just not going to have them as fast, and that's okay because yep. I'm not playing as much. Yep. And so you can see here, you can't purchase, you can't save up a bunch of tickets and just buy the elite wings. You have to buy them in order. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this guy, which that's is going to lock the next one. That's done. I'm just going to lock the next one. I'm just going to lock the next one. That looks I'm just valuable. Lock the last one. I love this guy. That looks valuable. Yep. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, so I have these guys right here. So I'm going to put these off to the side because I'm going to need these four guys to make. A precursor. The precursor. Oh, yeah. So you can see on here it actually says, combine all four wings of glory to obtain the wings of ascension. Precursor to the ascension. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I want to show off something that I'm really proud of. It's something that I Is wanted. Is wings? <laughs> I'm okay. also proud of those. But one of the things you need to do to get the back piece is there is achievements that came out with the journey. Oh, yeah. So you go through, you go to competitive, and you go, there's four new meta achievements. The Year of the Ascension, part one. That's why you say Year of the Ascension, because it's a full year to do these things. Mm -hmm. So by completing the meta achievement, you get an object, which I have in my inventory, which is you need four of all four items from the meta achievement to make the gift of the competitor. That's one of the okay. pieces required to make the legendary. Okay? These things involve, like, you know, winning matches, getting top stats, getting kills... Getting all those things. All of which you can accomplish while you're just participating in yep. the season. Yep, everything is done through the ranked arena and participating in the season. Uh, so none of these things, no, no, I won't say none of these, because there's a couple things you can buy if you have some some uh, shards of glory mm -hmm. uh, that you can do outside of the season. But most of these things can only be pro uh, progressed during a season. Okay, so, one so thing these I are really, some of your objectives. Yeah, these are the objectives. Essentially, you can come down here, look at the checklist, and be like, okay, what do I want to accomplish today? What do I want to do? But the one that's a little confusing, and I want to make sure I clear up, is some people look here and they see League Warrior, they see League uh, Mesmer, League Elementalist, and they think they have to do all of them, which isn't um, quite true. You need to do mm -hmm. League Professional. 
So let me find out where that guy is. Uh, let's see. Lee. I think it's right there. My, my right there. Oh, right I'm, I'm there. piloting there. over it. Of course, the one I didn't see. It was blocking You your only view. need to do two of those. So if oh. you see, I do like uh, League Warrior here. It says complete this achievement advances the League Professional Recruit Achievement. So when I complete this and get three, uh, five wins on a Warrior, I increment that by one. Okay. So if I do Elementalist, I do five wins. I'll increment it by two. It's complete. I don't need to do the rest. The rest is if I want to. Okay. So if I... Mesmer's not my favorite. Yep. I'm sorry, Stefan. <laughs> Mesmer's not my favorite. So I don't have to go in there and do it. No, right? you could play... I'm just bad. You I'm can, so bad at it. You only need to do two. And then as you go further on to the other, year, uh, the other metas, you will have to do three. But three is the maximum. You only have to ever do three different classes of to progress Of the nine? That. Yeah, of the nine, exactly. Okay. And, they don't, and it, does, it could be the exact same. You could do Warrior, Elementalist, and then when the next one it requires you to do three, you can do Warrior, Elementalist, and whatever, Necro, right? Okay. If you want to, you can do them all. That's totally fine. Yeah, but you, but you only, don't have to. You don't have to. You only have to do minimum two the first time, minimum three for the other three. It only goes right. into a maximum of three classes. Right. Now, the wins increase. You have to get more wins with mm -hmm. the classes, but it only requires three different classes. All right. You guys got that? You don't have to do this on every single Yeah, that profession. was one of the biggest confusing parts, and I really wanted to make sure I, I cleared that up. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory, but mm -hmm. that was the one that was a little, a little bit all much. Right. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and say, I did it magically, and I got my four meta achievements complete. So I have all these guys. So You're I just, so you know, good at I'm PvP. So, I'm so good. I'm so good. So let's talk about the last little things, uh, which is to complete the... I want to talk about this because it's my favorite thing in the world. I'm so glad I got this I in the game. So... All right. Yes. So you, <laughs> you get these things for Shards of Glory. So if I go to this guy, I interact with him and I'm like hey buddy let me let me get this let me get some of this so he essence of determination essence of challenge essence of discipline essence of success all cost shards of glory you can farm those on reward tracks you get them from progressing in the leagues you get them through the daily achievements stuff like that you get them all over the place or you can just buy them on the trading post uh, you buy these guys up and you have to combine some stuff with them so like it requires let's say some vicious claws some you know some large claws some globs of dark matter and you make that and it makes the mystic essence of success so what i did here is i did all that already but i wanted to make sure i showed you guys where you get them and what it takes uh to do those guys but here we go let us look what happens let's look what happens when i combine these i'm gonna do some magic here oh a magical mystic forge appeared i didn't know we could do that Ooh, nice. uh, magic. So I'm going to go ahead and see what happens when I combine all four <laughs> of the mystics. I like how confused you sound. I wonder. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so you combine all of these guys together, and you get an ascended trinket called the Vial of Salt. It's pretty great. What the, is the flavor text on that, Hugh, you ask? The flavor text is so good. It took, a bit of, it took a lot of tears to create this much salt. Yep. Mm. I need to know whose idea was this. I don't have a mic you can drop. I, uh, I would drop the coffee, the coffee. I drop it. Oh, Jessica wait. would murder you. <laughs> that would be pretty sad. But yes, no, it, it was something I really wanted to get in. So we got that, and you can choose the stats on it and get it to have whatever stats you want on this guy. Uh, see a here. All these guys here. Now, somebody's already in this chat like, Hugh, but it doesn't give you the right color st kind of stats. You are correct. Yep. And that is a bug. And we are <laughs> going to fix fixed. that. It'll I wanted fixed. you to be a little more salty when you got it. <laughs> Mission accomplished. No, no. It, it is a buck. I, I do apologize about that. It is 100% my fault. Um, so, yeah, it, it doesn't give you the correct stats now, but it will be fixed middle December, 100% fixed. So, Can I ask why you didn't like call this PJ's Vial of Salt? I wanted to call that PJ, PJ's Vial of Salt. But maybe in the future the text may change randomly. I don't know. I may get fired. Sneak it in. But, you know, who knows? Um, but, yes. So make sure you guys make, make this. Make it killed. Yeah, I make, I, make, I make it killed. Who knows? But yeah, it's it's awesome, guys. It thing I also want to get across, this is only for this year. After this year, you cannot get PJ's Vile Assault. <laughs> uh, so, Are you serious? Yeah, this is a one-year thing. Every year, we're going to create one of these one. things. So next oh. year, who knows what you'll get. Maybe an Ascended Ring, the Kappa Ring. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that's a thing. That's a Please, thing. I beg of you <laughs> to make the Kappa ring. So, uh, so let's talk about the other gifts. We know this gift, so I, let me just go yep. ahead. Actually, let me Mystic Forge this guy because we already talked about this guy. Uh, I like how chat sounds in your head, by the way. I that know. was a great they, voice. They're, they're already, I know exactly. Actually, I think they're spamming salt is what Mark was telling me. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get this. So this is for all four of the meadows. Combine this together. All right. We get the <gasps> woo, gift of the competitor. Boom. Okay. So we got one piece that's done. 
Uh, now, mind you, this ascended, this vile assault is not really for anything. It's just for you to have fun. Uh, so <laughs> that was just something. So let's combine um, the to wings. Link, link and chat. To link and chat to have fun mostly. with that. So let's combine our wings. Let's go ahead and make that. So we get the wings Incursor. of ascension. So let's go ahead and look at that guy. So you see, much bigger, lots of fire, really sweet. I mean, you can see it doesn't even fit on the preview window. Looking pretty great this over is, his head. Yeah, it's, it, it's supposed to be like when you get this, you walk through, people can see you. So if you don't want to do the legendary journey, right, you can just make this and just be done. They're going to touch on everything, by yeah. the way. And this is ascended, that you can again uh, also ch have choosy <laughs> stats. This does have the correct stats, I, that I could say. Um, but you can see here, you can actually choose this as one time, but you can choose this right here. Uh, and so that is that. So we got this done and this done. So let's go ahead. I made the Gift of Fortune because Gift of Fortune exists already. That's mm -hmm. just one of the pieces. So we have three pieces. The last one is this guy right here. So what you need is you need five tickets of participation. Or, I'm sorry, certificate of support. These just cost uh, league tickets. You need five of these guys. So you buy five of these guys. And it tells you what you need. Five league tickets, two vision crystals, 250 shards of glory, and a perfect mist core. So you ask, where do you get the perfect mist core? Because we know where we get vision crystals. We now know where this, and everybody has shards of glory. Where do I get these? So I have four mist core fragments. So where do I get that? If you open up your reward track, uh, that is definitely the wrong button there. I was just showing you the wrong <laughs> button to push. Um, this is how not to open up yeah. your reward track. If you go over to the glorious reward track, you can see here, if the last thing here it says you can get Mist Core Fragments, Dragon or Armor Skins, all the things. If you get this, you get guaranteed one, and you can choose to get another one, or the armor. Because the armor's still in there, the glorious armor's still in there, but if you want, you can repeat this guy twice, get both fragments, and you're good, and then you don't need to. If you want, you can get one at a time and choose armor from there for the unique armor of PvP. But that's where you get those guys. Alright, so if you've already got all your glorious armor... It's just two runs. There's more yeah. stuff to get it again. Yep. So right. we're going to get these guys, we're going to double click it, it's going to make myself the perfect miss core. It so is perfect. It is so perfect. Alright, one last time, Forgy boy. Oh, I'm gonna spell. It, I'm gonna spell it correctly this time. You what? can just press up. Oh no, it's too easy. Up. That's too easy. That, okay. Oh no, I missed. No. You might want to try it. Oh yeah! <laughs> all right. Good job, guys. I can I can spell by hitting up. Uh, uh, that's how we're gonna <laughs> say that. Uh, so we're gonna bind all these guys together. We're gonna forge this guy up, and we're going to go ahead and make the gift of skirmishing. And now with the precursor, the gift of the competitor, the gift of fortune, and the gift of skirmishing, we combine it together. To Whoa. Make. And it says congratulations on creating your uh, your ascension back piece. You also unlock the glider skin attached to it as well. Yay. So you, not only do you get your legendary back piece, but it also doubles up as a glider skin. All right. So I think I know the answer. There's not like matching glider skins for all the little ones, right? No, I because no. think about how great it would be the, the with the wings, tiny yeah. with the chibi wings. Yeah, that would be. I want to glide good. through Central Terria with chibi wings. And so we got our legendary back piece. And so the cool thing about this, I'm gonna put a weapon back on, is <gasps> I love your mini pet. I know he's so cute. I love him. He's I lost. have I have that one. Uh, so you can see mm. uh, my wings. I kind of run with them. But the big thing is, is that when you go into combat. They kind of flare up, and they have a different look when you're in combat than when you're out of combat. So when I put it away, they'll kind of drop down. When I pull them out, they kind of flare nice. up. And so they have an animation both in combat, out of combat as well. Mm -hmm. And so not only are they a glider skin, but they also have different animations for in combat, out of combat. And they're I legendary really like stats. if you come back out of combat for a second sure. and then go back into combat, you can see the, you can see the fire effect. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they flash up. Yeah. And mind you, we're still working on it to make it even better. But yeah, you can see this guy right now. When you see this guy running at you, you know he's got the legendary. And when he goes out, they kind of sick back into him mm -hmm. so he can kind of go. But yeah, they come out to the side. That grin is killing me. <laughs> he's so happy. Look at him. He's like, oh, look at this little guy next to me. Oh, yeah, he's so cute. Look at my wings. Um, but yeah, so there's right. that's the legendary. Again, it has the double states, both in combat, out of combat. Very cool. Very nice. All right. So even the casual PvP players... Or the ones dipping their toes in the water the first time. Yep. Can you get a little bit, something out of this? A little bit of time, obviously. Uh, the better you are, the faster you get it. Mm -hmm. But even if you're not mm -hmm. the greatest player, doesn't say that you can't get it. It right. just may take a little more time. You left out one of the most important things on the League Vendor. Oh. Oh, what? <laughs> so if you do have extra 
Uh, or if you're not interested in the yeah, or if you're, <coughs> legendary if, if you're not interested in the legendary, you just want to make the precursor, or if you just want to get anything. Or you're really into. Or you're just really into it. There's This tab right here is specifically everything required to make the legendary. These things are part of the meta achievement. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you need the wings and the certificates. But there's kind of another little tab here where you can turn your tickets. Oh, what? You turn your tickets into some shards of glory if you want to just make some money off of it because you can just sell these right away. Or you can buy some llamas. What? For some tickets. Now, I didn't know that. I, I will say, if you're looking to make the legendary, I would save it and do just legendary stuff until you have extra for the llama. But if you just want that llama and you don't care about no stinking legendary and I just want my llama, then you just go in here and spend all your tickets and get your llamas and get that lavish llama as quick as possible. Oh my gosh. But yes, this is, again, it does not progress your legendary stuff. It's specifically for if you have extra tickets, we wanted to have a couple different things here for you, mm -hmm. for you to spend those tickets on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is that is that's fantastic. Dream. It's pretty. The big thing is I try to make every everything had what you needed on the item. You didn't have to go to wiki. You didn't have to do those things. It's pretty simple. You just go down the meta achievements. If you get mm -hmm. all the meta achievements done, you're pretty much almost there because it does require the meta achievements to buy all the back pieces to like get the mystic stuff, like everything. So yeah. it's it should be fairly self-explanatory as far as legendary journeys go. Mm -hmm. Um, but well, everything is specifically in PvP. There's not only thing that really requires you to have any crafting or anything like that is the um, the vision crystal. Yeah, that's the only thing. Everything else you just do in PvP. You get shards of glory. You get you know league tickets and play play PvP. Yeah, yeah. play and PvP. You progress all of that simultaneously. Yep, which right. is awesome. So it's gotten super late. We were having way too much fun. But really quickly, what are you guys going to be doing? What's next? We talked a little bit about. You're listening to the community. Keep talking to us. Uh, I mean, one thing we're definitely going to do is we're going to keep listening to the community. Obviously, see the feedback. It's been three days, but we are every day going yeah, it's into been meetings. Three days. Every day going into meetings, talking about it, talking mm -hmm. about perception, seeing everything like that. But we're gonna we're looking at you know ways that we can improve the matchmaking system, make it even better, mm -hmm. and you know any changes we want to make for we're going to do you know as soon as we can. So, but that's awesome. big thing is guys keep playing. We're seeing a lot of people are a lot of a lot of people are playing, a lot of people having fun. Keep giving us feedback, keep doing those things because we do listen. It may seem like we go dark for some times, but we we're not, guys. We're really listening. We're reading all those things. It's because you're the, working. Yeah, it's true. We <laughs> we have been working quite hard. But yes, keep all that stuff coming, guys. It means a lot to us, and we take like we'll print off some stuff a lot of times and just go through feedback from from Reddit, from the forums. Be like, okay, this is what people are saying. What are they? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. What can we do to address those things? It's really important you guys give us that feedback. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys very much. We are. Thank you both for coming in, hanging out today. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. We are going to go to On Point next. So stick around. Jebro's hanging out and waiting to talk to you guys about more PvP. We will see you next week. Bye, guys. Thanks.